Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well today. So I had the distinct pleasure of visiting an aquarium I've never been to before. This is the Aquarium of the Pacific, located in Long Beach, California. My wife and I spent an afternoon here on a recent vacation. And I wanted to take you along with me and show you some of the exhibits. And at the end, I'll share my overall impressions. The first exhibit you encounter when you walk in is this really cool digital screen, which mimics a coral reef habitat. Now what's really fun about this is you can actually draw your own fish, like my wife is doing here, and add it to the coral reef. You can see it swimming around in there. I thought this was a great idea from the aquarium that really encourages engagement with the visitors rather than just staring at tanks the whole time. There's also other pieces of digital aquatic art around the aquarium that you can enjoy. Now onto the live exhibits, and I do apologize for the glare that you'll see in some of the tank shots throughout this video. I couldn't really help it given the lighting in the aquarium and the fact that I was just one of many visitors at the time. This tank was part of a room that focused on education of the ocean, specifically on aquaculture and its positive benefits in conservation. These fish are called yellowtail jacks, and the exhibit was explaining how they are an ideal candidate for sustainable farming. I just thought they looked cool. The tank next to it contained a large number of a fish called the delta smelt. Now this was a fascinating fish to me because it actually moves between brackish water and fresh water. I can already picture a tank full of these things in my basement. There was also a tank with some really cool seahorses, but its main purpose was to display the clams and oysters that can be used for sustainable farming. Moving out of the aquaculture section, you come to this breathtaking display. Now, you get most of these tanks that seem to be built more for inspiration than education, but even so, the place always try to sneak in some bit of knowledge to really educate its visitors. My favorite in this tank was those purple fish with the yellow tails. I'm not a saltwater guy, so anyone out there who knows what those fish are, please drop it in the comments below. Here's my wife again standing in front of a really cool tank. She's pointing out her favorite fish, which is this tiny little starfish you see on the glass here. She loves the small fish, she just thinks they're so cute. I, however, tend to gravitate more towards the bigger fish, and especially the silver ones. I think they're so cool. I don't even know what this fish is because I'm not a saltwater guy, but I want one. Something I very much appreciated about this aquarium was the range of biotopes they had on display. They had sections devoted to the usual coral reefs and such, but they also had entire sections devoted to coastlines, kelp forests, deltas, and it was just very interesting to see the diversity of habitats and species within them. Now, I'm a freshwater hobbyist, so the fact that this aquarium had mostly saltwater tanks means I can't really speak to every single display. So I'm going to stop talking your ear off now, and we can just sit back and enjoy the really cool tanks.
right, I hope you enjoyed those tank shots. I wanted to show you some other nice features of this aquarium before we wrapped up. Here we have a touch pool full of some rays and sharks. There's an outdoor observation area for the sea lions. Over here we have the obligatory penguins. Everyone always loves seeing these guys, right? There's this really cool setup where you can touch jellyfish. That will be my hand poking the jellyfish. Oh, wait, no, that's my wife's hand poking the jellyfish there. And now that's my hand poking the jellyfish there. It was really fun. The staff did a great job instructing everyone how not to harm themselves or the jellyfish. In general, the whole outdoor area was very fun to walk through and had lots of activities for the whole family, especially those with children. For the adults, I recommend stopping by the snack stand for a smoothie, which they offer with either rum or tequila. But tastes good even without it. Here we have some mangrove trees surrounding a pool of sharks. I actually don't have footage of the sharks because the trees stole my attention. I have three of these trees in my own setups and hope that one day they're as big and awesome as these. Over here are the last few tanks we'll look at today. Freshwater tanks. And they are beasts. Look at the size of those. Now they're not the most colorful freshwater fish, but they're still pretty cool. These are North American natives. Rainbow trout. And I thought they were awesome. Now some of you would love this, an exhibit dedicated to mudskippers, and I'm very sorry to say the footage was not good enough to use. But hey, stop by sometime if you get the chance and you can see it in person. The final tank for the day here is archer fish. This was one of my personal favorites, and I was really excited to see a tank just for them. Well that about wraps us up here. I really hope you enjoyed this tour of the Aquarium of the Pacific. I highly recommend it. If you ever get a chance and are in the area, please do stop by. It is awesome. Thanks again everyone, and I'll see you next time on Riff Waters.